Okay, here's a good look at the knife itself. Here's a good look at the overall, everything that comes with the knife, pretty much. You get a nice sheath with it, nice Condor logo on it, some nice stitching on it as well. The belt loop could be a little bit higher up. It's just a little high on the waistband, but I mean, it still works all right. The overall specs for the knife, it's got a nice hardwood handle on it. It is full tang, goes all the way through the handle. Has these nice two pins right here and a lanyard hole, which I don't use a lot, but I'm glad it's there for the option. But it is one eighth inches thick. The blade itself is four and five sixteenths inches long, just for the blade. The overall length for the entire knife is nine and five sixteenths inches long. So it's a pretty decent length. It's made out of 1075 carbon steel, so you know it's a pretty pretty all right steel it's not as good as 1095 it's you can see that it's got some chips I'll show you a close-up here's a better look at the knife blade as you can see this knife has got some chips in it so that's something that I was really disappointed in I mean I've done some heavy-duty stuff with it but no more than I have with knives I've used in the past and did past reviews on it's got it on both sides, of course. But that's after a year of using it. I'll go, I'll go ahead and show you how well this 90 degree spine works on this knife. So that's pretty good. Let's see how well my 90 degree spine will work with taking a strike off a ferro rod. See if we can get a fire going. Show you how good this thing does at carving. Not bad. Show you guys how well this single baton. Not bad.
show you how well I'll cut through a little sapling. That's pretty good. Okay, we're going to go ahead and make a Paiute deadfall. We're just going to take our first stick here. We're just going to make kind of a, a wedge on it. So you can see we got a wedge on it. If you want to, you can clean it up. Make it look a little nicer. Now we're going to take a second stick, which is right here, and we're going to make a seven notch right up here. We're going to mark that with our fingernail. Just take your baton. Baton into it, just like we did there. And just take your knife, carve up into it. Once you do that, just take it, make sure that it fits, it's got room to move, and it does. Now we're just going to make a flat plane down here, kind of a squared area. There we go. Now we're going to do the same thing up here, make it kind of a flat area, that's pretty much it. Now all we need is a bait stick. As you can see our trap is now set. Now all we have to do is wait for an animal, in this case probably a mouse. He'll come along, he'll see the bait we got speared down there on the end of the bait stick. And whenever he decides to wiggle it and take it, that's it for him. There you have it guys. This knife has been kind of a disappointment to me. I wasn't going to do the review, but I just wanted to do it really because there's just so many unboxings of knives out there. I just wanted to really do a full year review on this to let everybody know how well it's held up after a year. Because unboxings to me are pretty much useless. It's just looking at a knife, how pretty it is out of a box. I really could care less about that. But this knife is not what I would recommend. It's Something I'd heard good things about. I really wanted to try it firsthand for myself to see if it was really any good, but it's really not. I mean, it's made out of cheap steel. It chips pretty easy. More is lasts better than this thing has. I mean, they last a lot longer. They're made out of better steel, apparently, because they don't chip nowhere near as bad as this. But, I mean, it is full tang. I do like that, and this would be a great backup knife. It's better than nothing for sure, but... Yeah, I'd save my money towards something better. Or even a cheap Mora, 15 bucks for a Mora, and it's better than this. But I hope this helps you guys out. Sorry for the disappointment for anybody that had high hopes for this after a year, but it's, like I said, it's been a disappointment. I really am sad to see that this knife didn't hold up as well as I was kind of hoping it would. Condor's kind of known for cheap steel. But hey, I mean, sometimes I got some pretty good knives, but. This knife here kind of sucks, to be honest. But hit the like button, subscribe, leave any comments. And as always, keep your blade sharp, your mind sharper. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.